Today I'm having coffee with Ian Lake from the Android team to talk about what's new in Android N for users and developers. So Ian, Android N. Yes. I know you're working on this, lots of new stuff, mm -hmm. lots of exciting stuff. Can you tell me all about it? Yeah, actually a lot of good features both for developers and users in this release. But I have to say my personal favorite has to be multi-window. Okay. So here you'll be able to run two apps kind of side by side. Um, so you can imagine this being great for phones where you're trying to read a review while you know chatting with someone about where you want to go for dinner right. um, or on a tablet where you're watching a video and wanting to get through your emails at the same time. Yeah, I watch a lot of videos on my tablet, but then I need like another device. Right, you have the I... phone and tablet at the same time and it's just much better to have it all on one device. And the guy beside me on the plane gets really annoyed. I'm sure he'll be much happier. <laughs> you and Joanna put together this dev by talking about some of the new developer features. Yeah, a whole whirlwind tour of kind of all what's new in Android N. Okay, shall we take a look at the video? Yeah. Let's... Welcome to what's new in, and not the real name. But we can talk about all of the new features added in this version of Android. For example, Marshmallow brought you Doze and App Standby, and now In is bringing you Doze again. But it's so much more. Now, at the end of that video, you spoke a little bit about Doze right. and how Doze works in Android. And could you brief me a little bit on that? Yeah, so it's a lot of the expansion of what we did in Marshmallow um, to kind of save users' battery life by kind of batching things together. And, and kind of takes it to the next level rather than kind of focus on just the totally stationary case on the table. Right. Um, now it's whenever the screen is off, after a certain amount of time, we'll be saving battery by chunking as much as we can together. So okay. hopefully it'll be a huge win for users and actually without any more work from developers. The same things you used for uh, Marshmallow, like high priority GCM messages and stuff, okay. will actually still apply in N. Should be an easy transition. So if I'm just building things the way that I had done for M, I'm getting advantage of all the Good to go. nice new stuff in M. Yeah, it'll be cool. great. Now, there's got to be a lot of new developer APIs in there. That yes. Are fun. We spoke earlier about, a little bit about the multi-screen. Mm -hmm. How does that work from a developer perspective? Yeah, a lot of it, um, again, should kind of be, if you've been doing it right all along, it should just work. Um, a lot of the things that we've built into the resource system on Android right from the beginning actually still work on Android M. So if you're supporting phones and tablets right now, then as your window gets resized, then your app will just continue to use kind of those layouts you already have. We actually put out a um, blog just the other day about preparing for multi-window, which has a lot of kind of the things you can already do right now okay. um, before even needing Android N APIs to really kind of take it to the next level. So we've spoken about windowing and we've spoken about Doze and some right. of the great things that are available for developers in that, but I, I see there's lots of great new notification stuff in Android N. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, yeah, we have did both kind of a whole kind of visual refresh kind of make it a little bit easier to figure out like who actually are sending those notifications. Okay. But um, I think some of the coolest new features are kind of the direct reply, mm -hmm. where you actually, instead of having to go into the app and hit the button and type your reply in now, um, directly in the notification you can reply. If it has a reply button, then you'll be able to type your reply, hit send without actually even needing to go into the app. Cool. In addition, kind of the new um, bundling notifications together. So you can imagine like you get 10 emails mm -hmm. and you really only need to check like two or three of them or maybe you want to use direct reply to reply to one of them. Right. Now you can actually expand that list out and get individual notifications in there. So you can swipe to dismiss just individual ones or direct reply to another one. Cool. Should be really awesome. Yeah, I actually also like the new larger UI. That's yeah. on them because a lot of times for me when I get notifications and I'm really interested in notifications when I'm doing something else like driving, and with the larger UI, if it's a quick glance of my phone to see the notification rather than maybe squinting to see something small. Yeah, hopefully it'll be a lot easier to figure out kind of what apps are sending you notifications as well as kind of who is actually sending a notification. Right, that's the hugest part of notifications is where who is actually coming from. But if I want to look at all these other extra features and start building for these, where do I go to get started? Yeah, so we actually built a whole preview site okay. at developer.android.com slash preview, okay. as you might expect. Um, sure. And that goes through kind of all of the API overview as well as some of the behavior changes and how to get everything set up. Should be easy to remember that site. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well thanks Ian, I'm going yeah. to get started thanks, right Scott. away. So lots of great new features in Android N for you to enjoy and lots of stuff if you're a developer for you to get started. Take a look at the URLs in the links below. We've also got all these great videos on the Android and Google developers channels. Thank you.